So today, I'm going to show you how to install a lovely little trainer that I use with Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, there's two versions of this trainer. I'll just shut this down. There's this one, the point at uh, the 2.0. Use that if you're using uh, the latest version of Grand Theft Auto. But if you're using a rollback version of the game, like I am, because I'm using the VR mod, I'm going to use this one, and I suggest you do too. And I'll show you the link to this one. Here it is. I'll put the link in the description. But there's the link. That's where you need to be going. See it at the top there? There. I'll put that link, and you need to go all the way down into in the description. Scroll all the way down here to this, and select this zip file here, and download it. Now, once you've downloaded it, we'll close this. Once you've downloaded that, you want to put it in its own little folder like this. Open it up, and there it is. Now, select it, right click, and select Extract Here. There it is. Now, you can read the README, I suggest you do. There, it tells you how to start it, F8 on your keyboard, and all that shit. Everything you need to know about it there. Close that. And I'm going to move it over there. These are the only two files you have to worry about. This one, which is a folder, not a file. And this one. That and that. So let's open the game. Do, 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 do. We go over here, Grand Theft Auto. Select. Go down to Manage. Scroll across to Browse Local Files. And click on that. Here we are, these are the local files. I'm going to move this out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. Look, move over here because you've always got to be careful when you're installing mods not to drop any of the mods in these subfolders. I'm going to open this up so I've got some room down here where all the files are. There, a little bit of room there, you see. So the first thing I'm going to do is drag this folder over and I'm going to drop it down here away from these folders. I'm going to drop it there. There it is. And now I'm going to take this one, select that, and I'm going to drag that over, and I'm going to drag, drop that there. There it is. Isn't that easy? There it is. Right, let's close that, because that's all you have to do. And I'm just going to show you now what it looks like in game. Well, not what it looks like. Uh, what you can do with it in game. I'm going to start this. And fingers crossed it works. So you can, the reason I'm showing you how to do this is because I've had a few people ask me when they've watched my videos uh, how I get a yacht in my single player ge game, the story mode game. Well, this is how I do it. And there's all kinds of things you can do. It's just a typical trainer, except this is a very, very good one. And it, there you are, 2612, that's the version of this game I'm using, and that's why I'm using that earlier version of this mod. Because we're using 2612. It's the most balanced uh, version of the game when it comes to this mod, this VR mod. Do, 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 do. This, this mod, this uh, trainer, sorry, comes in very, very handy in when you're playing the story. Because one of the things you've got to do in the story is use a sniper rifle and at night time. And it's really hard. I couldn't do it, to be honest with you. So you can turn night to day. You can choose from hundreds of different vehicles, cars, planes, supercars. Is there such a thing as a supercar? I don't know. Uh, all kinds of shit you can do with it. You can even have meteorites. Uh, a meteorite storm. That's pretty scary, that one. You can change the waves, you can change gravity. You can have all the weapons that are available. And more. It's just brilliant. And you can spawn in buildings, different buildings, different apartments, all kinds of apartments. Also, 
adds the uh, casino to the single player map, but to the story map. Here we are. Ooh. Now, for anybody who's wondering what frame rates I get with this, I'm running a mod called Make Visuals Great Again. Uh, the link for that is in the description of the installation video I've done. Hate yeah, that. Which I will include in the description if you want to install the VR mod. Look at this place. Let's uh, activate it. There it is, it's activated as you can see. Oh, I'm going to wear that cam before I get run over. Bastard. I'm getting between 90 and 120 with the graphics mod. Uh, frames per second, which is brilliant for this game. So let's change the weather. I'll have it clear. Oh, that's better, isn't it? Yeah, that'll do. So, and I'm just going to show you teleport options how to build your very own yacht. Uh, we're all, all the way down to the bottom here. Look at all this shit you can do. Look, interiors, apartment interiors. Vehicle warehouse, biker, or uh, oh, the biker club houses, all kinds of stuff. Angers, nightclubs, others. What are others? We don't want others, do we? Sounds a bit scary. Anyway, we'll go to this beach here, and I'm going to choose. I'm not going to going to choose that yacht because that's shit, and that one's a bit shit as well. So I'll choose this one. Uh, Pacific, yeah, that'll do. Chrome, oh no, we want gold because we're special. Presidential special, yes, gold again. Door is gold. Argentinian flag, well, why not? Build yacht. Ooh. Do 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 Ooh, here we are. Wow. I'll just uh, close that. Look at this. This is how good it looks, by the way, on the headset. Because you sometimes get, I've said this before, you get people, you get videos, sorry, and they'll show you something in VR, and it doesn't look anywhere near as good once you put the headset on as it does in the video. This looks this good. What you see is what I see in the headset. Look at that, isn't that brilliant? And you can go in here, Oh, here he is, this fella. He won't talk to you, because he's a miserable bastard. Hello! But all the same. Does he talk to you in the game itself? You know, in... Uh, the online mode. I don't think he does, does he? I don't know, I don't care. So he can go in there. Luke Jacuzzi. Wow. Uh, go down here. We can get them as well. You go in here. Ooh. I'm running very fast. Look, these ro these rooms are here. Look at this. Wow. It's very difficult to put into words what this feels like. This is excellent. I'm running this on a 3060, by the way. I'm, I could be wrong here as well. It was developed on a 1080 by Luke Ross. Not the game, the mod. Did I say the game? I don't know. I've just got out of bed. Hello? Hello? She's kind of cute, isn't she? But she's, uh, she's not talking to me. I don't know why. Oh, well, there you go. I'll change the weather for you and then I'll go. I'll just fly away in my helicopter. I'm going to make it rain. Where's my helicopter? So there it is. Ooh, player options. All kinds of shit, Luke. Wardrobe. You can make yourself invincible or invisible. All kinds of shit. Uh, vehicles. 
Look at all this. Isn't that brilliant? Uh, weapons. I've got all the weapons. Time options. Let's change the weather to rain. Ooh. Wow, I feel cold already. What's this one do? Fireworks ahoy. What's all that about? Oh look, fireworks. Okay, let's change the weather so we can see that. Clear. <laughs> Night time, yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't care. Let's get in the uh, helicopter and fly away. Yeah, meteorite showers. That is really scary. I'd show you that, but I don't want to spoil it for you. And like I said, it's scary, so I'm not going to do it. Let's take off. Now, I think those... Oh yeah, I think they're going to follow me. Look at that. Anyway, I'm going now. That's how you install that. Wasn't that a piece of piss? Wasn't that easy? 